Hi, my name is Pete Hahn, and thank you for watching this tutorial video. Be sure to visit www.hahn-tech.com for the full library of video tutorials. I hope this video increases your knowledge and helps you become more efficient with this topic, whether for home or work. Please support this channel by sharing these videos with your friends and colleagues. Okay, in this video I'm going to review some previous videos. The previous videos were some custom scan videos that I published. One is called Thinkorswim Custom Scan Stochastic MACD. The second is called Thinkorswim Scan TTM Squeeze Histogram. And the third is Thinkorswim Scan MACD RSI Part 2. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take those scans and combine them into a strategy. So this also references the other video that I did, Thinkorswim Strategy Guide. So there's four videos that if you haven't seen yet, you probably want to view those videos before we continue on with this one because those will lay the groundwork and you'll understand a lot more clearly what's going on. So essentially, I'm going to show you how easy it is to take a scan and convert it into a strategy entry signal. And in addition, you'll see how easy it is to go the other direction, which is to take a strategy and convert it into a scan. Before we jump right into the details, I want to share with you an email that I received through the contact form on the Hontech website. And here's the message right here. I just wanted to share it with you all because this really is what it's all about for me. Yes, I've got a YouTube channel. Yes, I've got a website. It's got advertising built into it so that I can collect revenue from that. It is my intention to eventually earn a living from this. But really what keeps me focused and keeps me motivated to do this is when I get emails like this. This is a person who just uh, wanted to tell me how much they appreciated the Thinkorswim videos. He says here they have turned my TOS platform from an options execution platform into a real tool for finding opportunities. Wow. I mean, that, that just nails it. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. And this person confirmed that that's exactly what they're getting out of it. And they say here that they're also getting a little bit more comfortable with coding. That's fantastic. I really appreciate comments like this, folks. You can leave those comments below in the description of the video, which is great. Or you can uh, drop by the Hontech website. You can go to the About page. There's a contact form at the bottom. Whatever is most comfortable for you. But uh, I tell you what, it's best if you put those comments in the section below the video because that way everybody gets to participate. Everybody gets to see those comments. So just wanted to drop that one. And then the other thing I'll do is a disclosure. No matter what the screen looks like, you might look at the screen and you might say, wow, I'm going to make so much money doing this. Disclosure, I am not a professional trader. I don't make my living by trading stocks. So I want you all to understand nothing in these videos should be interpreted as an advertisement to buy or sell any financial instrument. All I want to do is show you how to utilize the Thinkorswim platform and spend quality time with the charts instead of quantity time. Okay, with that out of the way, let's dig right into the details. The screen that you see in front of you is my chart where I've got a couple of the strategies inserted. And one of the strategies is a long entry. It's called Bollinger Bands. It's built in. It comes with the Thinkorswim platform. The exit also is built in standard with the Thinkorswim platform. It's a uh, volatility expansion close, I think is what that really stands for. And that is a long exit signal. So in addition, I've also got a strategy in there for a stop loss. And I'll open up the study settings and show you the details in a little bit. Uh, just wanted to explain to you what's on the chart. This is just standard built-in stuff. So I want to show you now uh, the details. Let's go to studies edit studies and here is the volatility expansion close long exit the only thing I've changed that's uh, standard the standard setting here is 5 I've changed it to 14 and when, as soon as I found out it was an average true range uh, basis then I decided well I'm going to stick with the standard which is a 14 period average true range then the stop loss, the stop loss percent, uh, you can actually change that. There's a percent, a value, and a tick. I've got mine set to percent and 3%. I played around with it a little bit. Uh, you know, a couple tenths here and there is really not going to make that big of a difference. 3% uh, on a trade I felt was, you know, plenty generous. 
and it seems to work out when you look at the uh, profit and loss graph below. Let's see, the final one now is the Bollinger Bands, and I've changed absolutely nothing with this. This is just straight out of the box, this is the way it looks. I'll like cancel there. Now, let's see, the first thing I'll do is I'll show you how to convert this Bollinger Bands uh, strategy into a scan. Okay, let's say you've got this in your chart and you've looked at the profit and loss and you've decided I want to trade this. Now I want to go look for entry signals. Well, you could thumb through thousands of stock charts every day and try to find the ones where a signal has occurred or you can build a scan. So you just click the little script icon there and you copy the code just the way it is. And I'll just hit keyboard shortcut to copy that in. We'll hit cancel, and we'll cancel that, and then we'll go to a scan, and let me just go ahead and reset the scan. Okay, and to keep things simple, I will just create a custom study, and you guys can get some detailed coverage on this if you view the videos that I've done previously on the scans. For now, I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. I'm just going to paste in that code, and all I need to do is mark off the add order statement here with a comment, and replace it with a plot statement, and it needs to say plot scan, and what I'm going to do is pick up on the condition variable that is used in the add order. Let's see, plot scan, and I forgot an equal sign. I'll put an equal sign there. Great. So what we've done is we've replaced the order entry statement with a plot scan statement, and we're picking up the same exact condition that is used by the strategy to indicate a buy or sell. So we'll hit OK, and then we'll hit scan. Okay, that's all there is to it. It really is that simple. And there's no matching symbols, but trust me, this uh, is all that's required. It, you just replace the order statement with the scan statement, and it works. Uh, let's see. Now, let's go back to charts. One at a time, I'm going to show you from those three videos, I'm going to show you how to take the scans and convert them into strategies. Okay, so the first one we're going to pick up on is the Thinkorswim Custom Scan Stochastic MACD. So let me go to Studies, Edit Studies. I'm going to look through my User Defined, and I'm going to find my scans. And I'm going to locate Scan Stochastic MACD. There we go, MACD Stochastic. So I'm going to click on the script. I don't need to double click it to add it into the um, studies. I click on the script. I'm going to select everything within the code window. Notice the plot scan statement down below. So we'll go ahead and copy everything except for the declare lower. Do not copy the declare lower statement because its strategy will not accept it. So we'll copy that. We'll close and we can now go to strategies and we'll select a new strategy. We'll name the strategy and we'll call it strat for one. I'm going to put it put strat at the beginning and this is going to be stochastic MACD long entry. Let's go ahead and put a score underscore right there. All right. So whatever code is here, let's just eliminate it altogether and then I'm just going to paste in the code that I copied from the study. We have this plot statement down below, this plot scan. What we need to do is turn that into a variable by changing the plot statement to define. And we're getting a little error here indicating that the strategy should contain an add order. Well, we're going to add that. And I'm just going to copy and paste that from a little uh, workspace that I have over here. Paste that in. And I've got it set up with the word scan as the condition. So we've defined that whenever the scan would pick up a signal, we're going to instead use it as a place for an order. And this is going to be a long entry. Um, is this going to be a long entry? Let's see, what is this? This is a slow, greater than previous difference, this current bar less than, 
No, I think that's got to be flipped around. So I'm reading that. I think on the previous video that I did for this, I left it as a short signal. This here should be the long signal because we've got the slow K less than the slow D and then it crosses above. Yeah, so this, this right here, this section here is saying the slow K is crossing from below the slow D to above the slow D. And then we also have the MACD increasing in value because we have the uh, previous MACD greater than the bar previous to it. Okay, good. So this should give us a long entry. We'll hit a K and apply and OK. Now what I've done is forgotten to turn off the Bollinger Bands. So let's go to Edit Studies and we'll go to Bollinger Bands. I'll hit the gear icon, uncheck the Show Study box, press OK, hit Apply and OK. And now the only buy signals we should see are the Strat Stochastic MACD long entries. And you can see that's as simple as it is. It's, it's no more difficult than that. Let me show you the next one, okay? Okay, the next one is from the video Thinkorswim Scan TTM Squeeze Histogram. So we'll go to Studies, Edit Studies. Let's uh, turn off the strategy for the Stochastic MACD. That way I don't forget. So we turn that off. And we'll go to Studies. I'll go to my User Defined. Scroll down to my scans. And what I'm looking for is the TTM Squeeze Histogram. That's the one right there. And again, I'm not going to double click it to add it to my studies. Instead, I'm going to click the script icon. I'm going to select all of the code in the code window except for the declare lower statement. So we'll copy that. We can cancel out of this. Now move to the strategies tab. I'll hit the new button and I'm going to, you know, make sure, see in the middle of your screen here where it says new script, new strategy. Make sure that you didn't miss a step here because if you see new study here and you missed a step, just go back in the video and review the steps and make sure that you got this uh, part correct here. So we got the strategy and it's going to be the uh, TTM. Let's just instead, I'll remember it if I just call it the squeeze. SQZ is good enough for me. And it's the histogram. So we'll just put it in as a histogram and then we'll put a long entry at the end of this. And we'll wipe out any code that's there and we'll paste in the code from the clipboard. We'll paste that in and it's, uh, let's see, we've got the scan statement down here below and we're actually going to be using uh, this one here is the one I'm going to turn on. I'll turn this one off. But first, let me copy in the order statement. I've got it off screen here so it doesn't get in the way. So we'll paste that in, and all it's doing is it's looking for the word scan. So we'll uh, mark this off as a comment, and then I'll turn this one on because what I want is the this one here, actually. The pivot low follow through. Yes, that's the one I want. And we'll hit OK, and then we'll hit Apply and OK. You can see the PNL graph has changed. And we've got a whole new different set of orders on here. And you can see that some of these are hitting the stop loss. You can see those marked in red. Others are hitting the normal exit. So there you go. Pretty simple, huh? All right, I'm going to show you the third one. And uh, then you guys are going to be on your own. Uh, have fun, man. This is, this is uh, I think, really going to be a useful tool for you guys. So uh, stay tuned here. I'll show you how to do the next one. And the third and last scan that I will do is from the video Thinkorswim Scan MACD RSI Part 2. Part 2 was, if I remember correctly, a, a viewer had written in and requested that I show them how to take that scan and do both long and short entries. So that's why it's Part 2. I'll go down to User Defined and drop down to my scans and locate the one that is the MACD RSI. There it is. And I got a little two on the end of that. We'll hit the script icon. And then I'll just copy all of this code, excluding the top statement that says declare lower, because we don't want that. We'll hit copy, and then we can cancel out of here. We'll go to the strategies tab. That's the step you don't want to miss. Uh, when you hit new, 
it will default to whatever tab you're on there. So be sure you're on the Strategies tab before you hit the New button. So we'll right click and paste. Now we've got our code in here, and this is a uh, pivot low MACD. Good, this is going to give us a long entry signal. All that's left now is to copy in the code for the order. So I copied that from off screen and paste that in, and it's looking for the word scan. All I've got to do is change that plot to the word uh, DEF, which is uh, basically define, defining a variable. So it converts that word scan into a variable, and it's a true false, uh, what they call a Boolean uh, output. It's either true or false, a zero or a one. That's why a strategy and a scan are so easily converted because they both deal with the same thing. It's either true or false, and that's why it's so easy to convert these back and forth. So we'll hit OK, and then I almost forgot to turn off the, which one do I need to turn off here? The squeeze histogram, yes, so we'll uncheck the show study, and then we'll hit apply and OK, and need to review what's going on here. OK, no worries at all. I took a little break here from the video to do a little uh, research and find out why the PNL was at zero and I was not getting any long entry signals. And so I decided to go ahead and plot the actual scan from that video as a lower study and I noticed wow there are no signals and then I decided okay well let's look at some other stock charts and lo and behold there it is <laughs> I was uh, kind of grasping for straws there for a minute there wondering what did I do wrong but there's nothing wrong at all it's just that that particular scan didn't produce any signals for that chart for that period so as I thumb through the charts here you can see there are many signals that are generated by that signal just you have to go to other charts. All right, so hope it helps, guys. I hope that you're excited to get started on your own experiments, on your own platform, taking your existing scans and converting them into strategies and vice versa. And I really hope that this empowers you to do even better analysis on your strategies and your trading ideas. I hope that it makes things uh, even easier and simpler for you to work out and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. Be sure to visit www.hondashtech.com for the full library of tutorials. I hope this video increases your knowledge and helps you become more efficient with this topic, whether for home or work. Please support this channel by sharing these videos with your friends and colleagues. Thanks and take care.